Minister, the LIS scheme has probably, since it came in, and, and, and the guy that's probably 10 years, he'd probably nearly have to put in a new application because he'd be in trouble. I think he came in 2016. The LIS is doing a lot of good work right around in different places. Um, is there, last year you gave two tranches to it, you give one early in the year and one later on. Is there a possibility that that will be happening this year uh, on the LIS because it has solved a lot of problems where people were up roads that weren't in the council, um, which is a good thing. In the line of the uh, rural regeneration and the town and the village, town and village, um, those have been, you know, there has been great success in places uh, right around the country. Um, tidy towns, Minister, um, look at everyone who's probably involved with tidy towns. Um, Last year, you gave, I think, you announced at the day of the Tidy Towns, I think some of them got a 1,000 and some of them got 2,000. Is there funding coming again this year in relation to that? Um, to a sort of, maybe it was for a celebration or whatever of so many years, but just to know on that. <coughs> um, in the line of, um, and this will be for Deputy Kenny, um, under the programme for government, the Atlantic Economic Corridor, and you spoke about it there, and I know you were involved in it. <clears throat> Is there an application made for the TNT funding as yet by the department um, to to be the Department of Transport that was doing it? But I know you were liaising with it for the, the Atlantic Economic Corridor to be included in the TNT funding. Um, in the line of leader, Minister Ring, there was problems on leader earlier on. Could you give us an overview? Um, have that been teased out sort of now? And um, how was it progressing in the line of spend? Uh, in the line of... We finished that programme already. All right. Well, look, look at it. He can, he can comment quickly on it if he wants. And in the line of the CLOR, um, Minister, um, there was two rounds or two, second tranche of CLOR last year. There, I know in Galway, for example, there was 12, say, safety measures given out last year. There was six this year. There was less funding given out. Is there any hope that uh, there can be funding, extra funding given this year? Like what CLOR does in the line of safety measures, which was referred to earlier in the line of Carrick School and Manla, what, what can be done uh, for the safety of both motorists and of children um, is great. And I'm just wondering, um, is there a second round that would be coming towards the end of the year um, on that? That's it. Uh, first of all, I want to take uh, uh, Deputy Captain Penker. I want to thank her for your comments uh, about the department and acknowledging that the funding is, is uh, helpful to rural communities and rural Ireland. I thank you for that. Uh, in relation to the tower, with the big issue that you were raised, um, and I said this uh, earlier, just stating into you, we had 490 applications last year. We were only able to fund 179. Mm -hmm. And I suppose I am a victim of the success of that particular scheme. Mm -hmm. In relation to the flower programme last year, <coughs> I had a second round because I had uh, savings in the department. This year, the way the spend is, uh, I, I, at the moment, I'm, I'm just looking if there's any savings. But I looked at different measures in the flower programme. And as I said earlier on, uh, the first responders, uh, we did the schools, the playgrounds, and I tried to balance it out to put a certain amount of funding into, into each project. And uh, uh, next year, uh, there was a big demand this year in relation to the schools. But I will say this, and, I, and, I, and I'll say this, um, what I'm finding now from a lot of departments, and I'm finding from a lot of other departments, everything now has been thrown over on this department. And I, I would like to see a bit of collaboration between other departments and myself. I'd like to see education putting a small bit of money in to support this project. I mean, I am actually doing... Uh, work outside schools, and I don't regret it one bit, because in some areas there has been very serious accidents, there has been children badly injured, and uh, there's pile up there where parents are coming, dropping their children to school and dropping them off, and we have met a lot of uh, schools and outside schools and parking spaces for schools, and we've done some fantastic projects for them in relation to that safety scheme, and as one uh, next year I will look at putting maybe changing around the, the profile in relation to the funding. I might put a bit more into the schools. But I would welcome the Department of Education putting a bit of funding into this. 
And I, I'll, you talked about LIS, and I'll take, uh, I'll ask that if Deputy if it's Morris does in mind, that I'll answer both to you on this one. The LIS programme this year, I said I, I, I actually brought the funding in early. I brought it in in February. Uh, um, Senator Welch raised this question earlier as well. And I brought the funding in to have them, to have the funding in February, I gave them 10 million. And to date, uh, on the spend is 5.6 million. How can I give them any more money when they won't spend the money they have? And I really, you know, it makes my job very difficult. And you're quite correct. Both of you are right. There's such a demand for the LIS scheme out there. But I want to make this point again today. The local authorities, and I answered this to Senator Welch earlier, are charging the department 13 per cent in some cases in relation to the price of, of, of tariff varies around the country. Uh, I think instead of them charging me and charging my department for doing LIS roads, I think the time has come that we should have a partnership. Now, I could do something different in the LIS. I'd like if the Department of Transport would put a bit of money into the LIS. I'd like if the local authorities had put a bit of money into the LIS. We have a big national problem out there in relation to LIS, uh, where there's more and more roads need to be done. I'd like to have more roads done. Uh, since I came into office, I put 48 million in, in a very short time. It's a substantial amount of money for the small department. And I'd like a bit of support now from the local authorities. Now, I could do what a previous government did and a previous minister, and there was nothing wrong with what he did. He, the only thing it would, I wouldn't be able to do it for, uh, where there were star areas, I could make the local authority top it up, or I could make, um, the, and if I do that, then I won't be able to give funding to areas that doesn't have flower. So, but I'd like, you know, and it's something that my department needs to have discussions with the local authorities. They have ways and means of getting revenue as well. And, you know, it's one thing me given the, the, the funding, given 10 million for funding and 13 per cent of it across the board, being paid for local authority staffing when the staffing are there. It doesn't make sense when we have a need for LIS. So I'm just putting that marker down and I want to see local authorities now. What they should be doing is matching the funding I'm giving them. And then instead of doing, if they're doing 30 roads in, in a county, they'll be doing 60. And I, I'm, I'm making that call now that maybe my department officials and the County Managers Association should sit down and see can we come up with some kind of a scheme where they would put a bit of money into it as well. And the Department of Transport, and I've asked you before, Chairman, that the Department of Transport, you know, they are at the end of the day at the roads. Uh, if I didn't bring the scheme in, we would have no scheme. There would be no scheme. I brought the scheme in and uh, I, I had to go to government looking for funding. There was no LIS for a good many years. Uh, I, uh, very briefly, I think, um, could the committee note um, what the Minister has said, that <clears throat> we would go with, or bring them in, the Department of Education and Transport, um, to give a hand up for some of that fund. I think we should actually uh, put, them, put, it, put it together here and support it. Um, what the Minister has said. I'd worry a small bit about councils because some of them haven't a woeful amount of money to spend at the moment. I know you might dispute that, but um, some of them will be tight. But definitely, where schools are concerned, yes, it's generally you know, it's the field beside the school that the bit of works is done on and outside. And the Department of Transport has a fair big budget that I think should be able to share it a bit. Thanks, and, you know, on foot of this discussion, um, you know, time is of the essence. Um, I would have liked to have seen another allocation this year for LIS. Um, the Minister has outlined why that's not possible. You know, I mean, 5.6 million out of 10 only spent. So, uh, How much is there for spent? Would that be fair to say? I know that Galway is going well at spending there. You've asked for that. Um, well, I've, what I've said to the Chairman is, and he, he, he will give you a report on it, that I'll give him an up-to-date yeah. the list of the, the, the funding will be sent on to him, the department. Yeah. Uh, we'll have another... You can reach out to, to the Department of Transport. Um, you, you have links, uh, Minister, yourself to the, the, the County Managers Association. I think they have a role as well in this. But if we could bring all those parties to the table, including your own yeah. <coughs> department, we, 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 we as a committee would, would, would like to you know, have an input in that because yeah. we can see the value of the LIS scheme and we give recognition to yourself as a minister to, for reinstating it. But we, we'd like to see it kicking on and even more roads being done. But currently, for whatever reason, some local authorities aren't pulling their weight. Um, so if we can play a role in, in trying to make it happen, we will. Uh, we'd reach out, reach out to the Department of Transport um, the, 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 the local authorities and, and yourselves to bring you all together and try and get some 
conclusion to it. But that's something we'll take up. Thirteen percent administration costs from councils. Yes. And is there? Would your department <coughs> um, look at, say, a pilot scheme in um, a community group or whatever, making an application? Um, and let the councils make theirs. They should be done in, on, on two avenues to see where you could maybe get in and get a direct in that you could get a sub in to do a road direct um, that it may work out cheaper. Would that be possible to look at? Well, look at D Deputy and to, to Deputy Smith as well. You both raised it. Um, the, the LIS scheme, I, 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 I could do with a bit of support with it on the basis, you know, I mean, I know there's a, there's a, there's a demand out there for it. And, you said that the councils don't have a lot of money, but with what comes with the councils is responsibility, and they have they'll have their estimates process now in the next few weeks. I was in the Department of Transport, Tourism, and Sport, and as where there 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 was the councils themselves spending money on roads, they take in certain revenue from from the state, and councillors have a responsibility as well, and it's fine for them throwing over the blame to this department, saying we want more money. They have a budget, and I haven't seen any council yet all over the country in their budget process this year. And I'll call on all the councils now around the country to put a bit of funding into the LIS. I have put my share of it in, and let them now provide a bit of funding for next year for the LIS scheme. They have discretionary funding, and they're able to find that funding for many events around the country, and rightly so, so they have, so they have a responsibility as elected representatives. I say to the councillors now, put a bit of fund in, funding into the LIS. My department will have 10 million again available from January of next year. And I say to the local authorities, if the local authorities, every local authority in the country, put a small bit of funding in, then you know we will all be, we'll all help the people that. The need one it. part I'd worry about that is that, um, do you know if you had a housing estate that wasn't taken over by the council? They weren't letting councillors and deputy Kenny had remember this, and, and you weren't let put in the money into it. No more than a road that's not a council road. There could be an obstacle there that we may need to be checked out. Well, yeah, but the only thing with the LIS scheme is the LIS scheme is a statutory scheme. The statutory regulations in relation to how it works, and it, it should take legislation for me to change the rules on the LIS scheme. It's statutory. It's there in the books, and it's illegal to do it, but the way that it should be done. So the rules are there. The LIS scheme is working around the country, and we've had a few problems. But that's fine. These things happen. We had a few problems, but the LIS scheme is a good scheme. So look at you. Put a suggestion. I've already asked the leader companies. I've asked uh, the other us. I've asked a few uh, state organisations. Would they have a look at, you know, would they, you know, maybe make applications in relation to see. Would they like to take that scheme on? I don't mind who takes it on. If we, we're providing the funding, once we get value for money, my inspectors are going out on a regular basis now, checking the LIS roads around the country, and they're checking out to make sure, number one, that they're uh, complied with the rules and regulation of the statutory rules that are there. I, I want to bring in uh, Minister Kenny there. You might, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, just appropriately, uh, uh, you asked the question, Deputy Professor Morris, in relation to uh, TT. <coughs> And yeah, the Atlantic Economic Corridor Task Force um, met with uh, officials from the Department of Transport. Myself and Minister Ross sat down and we discussed the whole area about TNT and the, the Atlantic uh, area. So uh, following on from that, we had a presentation from the Department of Transport at a task force meeting. And following on from that, a letter was uh, uh, crafted uh, in consultation with our department uh, which was sent to the Commissioner asking him to, to uh, take on a review of the TNT process. That letter cited the reasons for it, for the fact that uh, the, the, the Atlantic Economic Corridor region needed to be included in the TNT. Uh, there is going to be a nearly review of the TNT process. It has been brought forward two years, so it is with the Commission at the moment. So the process has begun, and I just say, put it on the record, that the letter that went from the Department of Transport was fully supportive of the uh, uh, reconfiguration of the maps and to make sure that the uh, West of Ireland uh, and all of the infrastructure projects, communications or whatever, will be included in that. So I want to compliment the Department of Transport, the officials and the Minister for their cooperation in getting that done. It was a long time coming and, and uh, it, it, it took um, 
uh, time to get there, but I think there's a better understanding because of the collaboration we now have between the Atlantic Economic Corridor Task Force and the Department of Transport in relation to that issue. Quickly reply to them. The tidy towns have allocated 1.4 million again this year. So it's the first time, as I said earlier, that any government has ever given the tidy towns the recognition. It's not, it's not the money we'd like to give them more, but we don't have it. But it's a recognition of the fantastic work they do. And it is, and it goes down well, people appreciate it all over the country. And it does projects that they don't have to be out fundraising for, but it's, it's just a recognition of the work they do. And you're raised about the leader. Uh, to date, uh, the leader has, has ramped up. Uh, in fact, it's causing me a problem now because to date we had 30 million in the budget for this year. Uh, to date, we have paid out 33.3 million, and we expect that to go over 40 million this year. So I'll have to re profile some of the money within the department to meet the demand. Also, I'll have uh, 5 million uh, in the next few weeks. I'll be announcing uh, a re uh, an extra 5 million to the leader companies. I'm going to reward the ones, the top 10, and I'm going to look at the end of the year in relation to the ones that are not doing so well, and I'm going to reprofile that money as well.